This video is intended to help familiarize a Power Center developer with how to navigate Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, also referred to as IICS, and to understand where you need to go to perform the tasks you would normally execute using Power Center. This will only be a high-level summary of what the equivalent of the repository manager, designer, and workflow manager and monitor are, and there are subsequent videos in this learning path that will go into the details of each. To start off, with Power Center being a client-server-based product versus IICS, which is a native cloud offering, instead of having to worry about installing the repository manager, designer, and workflow manager on every developer's computer, you just need a web browser to use IICS. Go to informatica.com, and if you currently do not have access to IICS, you can sign up for a free trial here. For Power Center developers, I would suggest signing up for either the Cloud Warehouse or the Cloud Data Integration trial. Once you have a login, just click on Informatica Cloud and enter your credentials. With Power Center, when you log in with one of the client tools, you would be logging into a repository. With IICS, each login is associated with what's known as an organization or org. Conceptually, an org is the equivalent of a Power Center repository. Once you've logged in, you will see the various services that you are licensed for listed here in the initial application picker. To perform many of the basic administration and setup tasks that you would normally do in the repository manager if you were getting a new repository up and running, you would do that here in IICS by clicking on Administrator. You could select Users, User Groups, and User Roles to set up users and privileges. To start creating the equivalent of mappings, sessions, and workflows, go back to the Application Picker and select Data Integration. You first see a dashboard that gives you an overview of your environment. When you click on Explore, you see the projects in your org, and by clicking on a project, you see the folders listed under them. From here, you can add and remove folders just like you can in the Repository Manager, and when you click on a folder, you see all of the assets listed under them. To create a mapping like you would with the Power Center Designer, you just need to click on New and then Mappings. You will notice that there are out-of-the-box mapping templates that you can use to accelerate the creation of new mappings. To create a new mapping from scratch, just go back up to the top, select Mapping, and click Create. You will then be brought into the mapping canvas that is very similar to Power Center Designer, and you'll see the transformations that you are used to using, along with a few new ones as well. In IICS, the equivalent of a Power Center session is known as a mapping task. Unlike Power Center, where you have to leave the designer and go to the workflow manager to create a session, in IICS, you can create one directly from the mapping screen, or you can click on New and select Mapping Task. The equivalent of a Power Center workflow is a task flow in IICS. You can create one by clicking on New, then selecting Task Flows. There are a few out-of-the-box templates that you can use, but if you want to create a task flow from scratch, just click here. When you run a mapping task or task flow and want the equivalent of the workflow monitor to see the status of how things are running, you can click on My Jobs, which will just show you the status of anything that you have scheduled to run. If you want to see the status of everything that is running system-wide, you go to the Application Picker, and select Monitor. From there, you can see the status of anything that is currently running and see what has already completed. That concludes this introductory video. If you want more details, please watch the other videos in this learning module. Thank you for watching.